Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Have you ever had a photo with a great subject but the background wasn't very attractive and you wish you could just punch out the background? Well in this video I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, to go from this to this in Photoshop isn't as hard as you might think. And I'm going to show you all the steps involved. We're going to start out in Lightroom, and you could just do your processing in Lightroom like you normally would. Then we need to get the image over into Photoshop. And to do that, we're just going to right click right on the image, go down to Edit In, and over to Edit in Adobe Photoshop 2022. And when you do that, it will bring the image directly into Photoshop. Now, we need to make a selection of, in this case, the eagle. So we're going to get going to get a selection tool. Hit the W key on your keyboard, and you'll get one of three selection tools. You'll get either the object selection, quick selection, or magic wand tool. At this point, it doesn't really matter which of these three you get, but I'm going to pick the quick selection tool. Because when you have any of those three tools active at the top, you'll have a button, select subject. Click on that. And when you do that, Photoshop will look at the image and select your subject. And you can see it selected part of the eagle, but not all of the eagle. And that's why I purposely picked the quick selection tool, because with the quick selection tool, I will now just come in and draw on the eagle so I get the rest of the eagle selected. Just like this. And if you over select, you see I have part of the background over here. Hold in the Alter Option key. Alter if you have a PC option, if you have a Mac. When you do that, you'll get a negative brush. And the negative brush allows you to take away from the selection. Now, don't worry if you didn't get all in between all the different feathers and everything like that, because we're now going to refine our selection by going up to Select and Mask. Click on that. When you do that, you'll get maybe this red background like I do. You might have a different background. That's under the View Settings. Go over here to the right-hand panel and click on View. And for this, since I want to put the eagle on a black background, I'm going to put it on black. Now, when I do that, you can see I have solid black. But by default, you're going to have 50%. You can see how the opacity slider here. So if... You do this and you put it on your you put your view on black, you may be at an opacity of 50%. Just slide that up to 100. Now, on black it actually doesn't look that bad, but we still have to do some refining um, around those uh, feathers at the top of the bird's head. Now, if you are doing a animal, a bird in this case, or even if you're doing a person, what you could try doing right off the bat before you do anything else is right here, Refine Hair. Click on Refine Hair, and you might see it improve a little bit, and it did improve a little bit, but there is still some issues in between the bird's feathers around his head. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a tool over here on the left-hand panel, and you can see that there's like seven different tools here. The second one from the top is the Refine Edge Brush Tool. Click on that, put it in positive brush. We want to use a positive brush. And for this case, I'm going to have hardness around 20%. I found that will work okay. And all we really need to do here is brush around the edges of the bird's head. So we're going to start over here on the far right. And I'm just going to do a brush stroke. Now, you don't have to do a continual brush stroke. You could stop here and there. And you'll see when you do this, that Photoshop will kind of refine the edge as you go. So just go. You don't have to be super precise. This is just kind of a, a rough brush stroking around these edge feathers. And you can see as we're going, it's getting a little better and a little better every time. Now when you have huge gaps or larger gaps between feathers, brush down into those gaps like I am. Like this and like this and over in here. Down in here. Just keep going. Do the best you can. It might be a little. This is the most time-consuming part 
of this whole process is trying to get these feathers refined a little better. And the slower and more uh, careful you do this, the better it will be. Now for my specific bird right now, for this video I'm going relatively quickly because I don't want to bore you to tears. All right, so I did the entire like head area. I didn't do the under the neck here, so let's do under here. Um, then you could do the edge of the bird as well. And now to change the size of the brush, you could use the bracket keys. The right bracket key makes it larger, the left bracket key smaller. I'll hit the right bracket key and make a little bit of a larger brush. And I'll just kind of brush along the edge of the shoulder here and over in here as well. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now, what I recommend you do is after you do this, and particularly if you clicked on refine hair, because some, sometimes when you click on refine hair, it will put um, transparencies in the middle of the image, not where you want them. So go back up to view and go on black and white, black on white. And you can see these transparencies that I'm talking about right here. That's not fully selected. If I go back up to, let's say, marching ants, you can see that that's a real bird part there. And marching ants are where we don't want them. So go back on to black on white. Okay. Then we're going to get a different tool. The third tool from the top is just a simple brush tool. And you could have a positive brush or a negative brush. We're going to, going to use the positive brush. And we're simply going to paint right on the mask here and then if like there's a part you don't know if that's bird or if that's uh, background just switch it your view maybe back up to overlay mode or something like that or back to marching ants and i could see that that is actually um, a bird up in here so i could leave it on the ants too and do the brushing here and there's marching ants up here in space where we don't want them. So hold in the Alt or Option key again, and you can get rid of those over there. So we could go and we go to these different views to try to help us make sure that we're uh, getting the entire image in, or uh, the entire, in this case, bird in the shot. Now there's kind of a, like a, a I don't know what to call it. I'm going to go back up here, though, and I'm going to... Um, lower the hardness of this brush a little bit and you can see there's kind of like a glow right there well i didn't to undo anything you just did hit command or control z as in zebra and it will undo what you just did what i meant to do is hold the um, option key in i missed the option key and the option key will be an erase brush and i'll come in and i'll kind of erase this kind of little kind of white kind of mist that's going around the edge here and that's when i painted on that shoulder it did that we could kind of refine everything as we go. Make it look a little better. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Let's go back up to overlay mode. And I think actually right in here is still part of the bird. So we're gonna go back to black and white so you can see. And I think right in here is still part of the bird. It's not like um, space between his feathers. Yeah, that looks much better. All right, so we're going to go back on black, and that looks pretty good right there. You want, you remember, you could paint on this too. You don't have to have it in the black on white mode uh, to paint. You could paint anywhere, in this case, anywhere you like. I think that looks nice. So there is our selection. Um, it looks okay so far. So we have a selection of the bird. Output to a selection and click OK. Now we'll be back in Photoshop proper, and you can see we have the marching ants around the bird. Now we could come in here, even with the uh, selection brush still, and you see something messed up, you could come in here and try to refine it even here. So don't be afraid to do that. I'll hold that option key in on my Mac to get rid of that. There, all right, that looks pretty good. Now I need to duplicate just the bird. Hit Command or Control J. Now we have the bird all by itself on its own layer. Now, go back to the background. So you're clicked on this background layer. We need to fill this with black. 
Go over to your color swatches. Make sure that they're default black and white. If they're not the default black and white color swatches, hit the D key on your keyboard and they'll be the default black and white. Note where the black is. The black is the foreground color. To fill whatever layer you're on with the foreground color, hold in the Alt or Option key and hit the Delete or Return key and you'll fill it in with that color. To fill in the background color, hold the Command key in and hit the Delete or Return key. You also could do this by going up to Edit, Fill. And then from this Fill dial log box, you could fill it with black there as well if you prefer to do it that way. So there is our eagle on black. Now, just save it. What I typically do is I just quit Photoshop and it will prompt me to save it. I'll click Save. And then it will bring us back to Lightroom and you'll have, uh, it doesn't touch the original image. I'll hit the F6 key. And you can see now I have two versions of the eagle on black. You can see I did some editing to that one later. But there's the original image and there's this image. And then you could come in and if you feel the urge, you could uh, come in and edit a little bit. on top of this. So that is uh, pretty easy. I think you'll agree. Now it's a little tedious. I do uh, confess when you're in that um, refined mask mode and you're trying to make sure that you're getting as many of the de feather de as much of the feather detail around in this case the eagle's head in that could be rather tedious but it still isn't very hard. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.